Wow, what a year it's been. And then the world of technology, this you know, role of computing is getting more and more present. It's imbuing autonomy and agency into everything that we do. And it's becoming part of the ambient environment in which we live. And every piece of AI built on silicon. So welcome to the Siliconomy. About 25% of our economy is built on silicon by the end of the decade. Extraordinary. And I think that understates the role that AI is going to have and maybe a full third of the entire GDP based on silicon. And you know, here we are and we see this driving force of silicon for a trillion dollar semiconductor market by the end of the decade. And the role of AI, just making it go faster. But when we think about artificial intelligence, hmm, something over there, right? And something we may not understand or may not control. And, you know, we think it's a disservice to think about it that way. Instead, maybe augmented intelligence, how we integrate it into our human lives, into human intelligence, how we make it part of, with us, in everything that we do. My family, we have a you know, disorder. We lose our hearing at an early age. My father was almost deaf when he passed away. And my AI enhanced Starkey hearing aids are making me better. It's not something over there. It's right here augmenting my human experience. And we think this paradigm shift, how humans and technology come together are gonna to be powerfully enabled by AI. And that harkens us back to the Intel vision. That's what we're about as a company, enabling that experience for AI everywhere. And effectively, that's why we're here today, the AI everywhere event. So now AI and high performance computing are coming together in a powerful way to enable this next generation of computing, faster memory, faster networking, larger memory capabilities, computing capabilities. And with that, we're working together with research on how this machine learning and these new platforms truly solve global issues at scale. We're doing that with Xeon, with Gen 5 today, right? We're saying, no, you don't have to build new data centers. You don't have to stand up new networks, new management, new security. No, we're going to infuse it into every data center that's built on Xeon. And that's what we're announcing today with Gen 5. Same applications. You don't need to forklift those applications. No. We're just going to build it in and enhance what you already do with new AI capabilities. But we're also seeing that the world is moving from high-end training to saying, how do we inference everywhere? A few people create weather models. Lots of people use them. The same is going to happen with AI. A few people train, lots of people inference. And they're going to do that in their data centers, in their enterprise applications, and at the client and edge. And that's what we think about with these three laws. Why is it going to happen at the edge? You know, first is the laws of economics. My device versus a rented cloud service I pay for. Economics. You know, second is physics. Round trip to the cloud or do it right here immediately. And finally, the laws of the land. My data. You know, all the geographies that we operate in, we're going to operate locally on models on the edge and on the device. And as this becomes increasingly important to the future, AI will dominate the edge workload. And that's what we think about with the AI PC. You know, and we've been seeing this excitement of generative AI, the star of the show for 2023. But we think 24 marks the AI PC. It's like a Centrino moment. Now, for those of you who don't remember Centrino, you know, I helped to create Wi-Fi. And what happened when we created Wi-Fi? Uh, pretty much nothing for three years. And then Centrino a platform that drove in in volume into the industry. And all of a sudden, every coffee shop, every hotel room, every business needed to become connectivity, internet enabled, new form factors started to emerge as a result. And we think of the AI PC as that kind of moment, driving this next generation of the platform experience. And we laid out this tremendously audacious goal of five nodes in four years. We're going to do a decade of semiconductor work in just four years. What do you think? That's pretty crazy. 
on track, baby. And over here, we have Intel 7, now over 100 million devices shipping, right? Intel 4 with today's core ultra launch in volume, millions units this year. Intel 3 going into production next year with our server launches. Intel 20A, you know, and as I said on our earnings call, the next generation transistor, power delivery, Picasso, Rembrandt, work of art. And the finish of this, 18A, bringing this all together and finishing our journey, being production ready at the end of next year. First products going into FAB at the start of the year. You know, and as 23 started with cool technology, we're finishing the year with even cooler technology. And on that note, to tell us more about what's possible, please join me in welcoming Michelle to the stage. Tell us about the AIPC. Good morning, everyone. Over the last five years, Intel has nurtured this intersection of AI and PCs with a steady drumbeat of new machine learning, inferencing, computer vision capabilities, all within our client portfolio. And it was really to prepare for today, putting powerful AI tools into the hands of millions. Intel is committed to ship over 100 million client processors with dedicated AI. That's up to five times more than all of our competitors combined. And we can do it with a definitive AI experience too. One processor that delivers on every front, CPU, graphics, power, battery life, and AI to meet your needs. That's our vision for the perfect processor. And boy, do we have the technology to really nail it. And today, I'm excited to announce the launch of the Intel Core Ultra. Beautiful, isn't it? It's the fastest processor for ultra-thin notebooks. On top of that, it has a world-class GPU too. So imagine a laptop under three pounds that you can play games on, and it pulls double duty as its own powerful AI GPU processor. And finally, it delivers its first on-chip AI accelerator, the neural processing unit, also called the NPU. It's fantastic for offloading those long running AI tasks that really allow us to improve battery life. The energy efficiency of the NPU is two and a half times better at executing the same code from our previous generation of products. We promised you a leadership product as part of our annual cadence, and this new processor family delivers on all of it. Intel Core Ultra beats competing processors by double digits. We're up to 30% lower on processor power in things like web browsing, watching movies, video conferencing, things that we're doing all day long. And that was Intel generation on generation. Now let's compare to the competition. So when compared to the competition, we deliver up to 79% lower power in key metrics. And because we took the time and invested in this incredible efficiency, we were able to expand the size of the GPU for built-in performance to deliver the next level of graphics performance. That's up to 2x our previous generation. But don't just take my word for it. I know you guys love to see things live. So let's welcome Jim Johnson to the stage. Welcome, Jim. Let's show off a few of the capabilities you just mentioned. We chose a gaming workload because it puts the highest demand on the CPU complex, the integrated GPU, and the memory, memory subsystem. A company out of Poland, One More Level, just released a title, Ghost Runner 2, getting rave reviews. On the left, you see it running on our prior generation product. And on the right, you see it running on Core Ultra. Just by moving to Core Ultra, you speed up the performance 2x. And by using the XCSS AI upscaling feature, you increase 3x. This processor runs at the same power envelope as its prior generation and delivers on the promise of power efficiency. It's one of 80 titles using this capability and this architecture, and you can play it right next door in our demo showcase. Back to you, Michelle. Awesome, thanks, Jim. And just to recap that, we tripled our energy efficiency. With Core Ultra, we're introducing the all new NPU to enable low power AI across the client. But I think it's important that in addition to the NPU, we architected our CPU and our GPU cores to deliver the most AI capable and power efficient client processor in Intel's history. Every engine on our chip can handle AI workloads. So for example, if you're a video editor, you're in Adobe Premiere, 
we've cut the time for you to edit a video by more than 56% versus previous generations. And with Core Ultra, you can do generative AI locally. We tested nearly 20 local AI models and workloads before launching this processor. The workloads spanned from video to image editing, stable diffusion, machine vision, teleconferencing, and so much more. The Intel Core Ultra is the only processor that successfully ran every single one of these AI workloads. For users, that means compatibility that translates into frictionless and easy experiences with AI software on the PC. And why would customers pick an Intel AI-powered PC? Because no one else in the industry has worked with more partners to bring features and experience to end customers. And we expect to have 300 AI-accelerated features enabled on the PC. And we're on track to hit this milestone in less than a year. That's why developers are coming to Intel. We're frictionless. We support more models and more frameworks, giving developers a wealth of choice and a variety of tools and AI models that they can choose from. We don't tell them how to do it. We offer them the tools and they can choose. This is the largest architecture change in the last 40 years. The best AI experience for PCs, a world-class Arc GPU, a dramatic improvement in power. Intel Core Ultra is the best for ultra-thin laptops. And just as Intel is transforming the client market with powerful AI cap capabilities, we're also transforming the data center market. Please welcome my friend and colleague, Sandra Rivera. Thank you so much, Michelle. So moving from all the exciting news around the AI PC, I'm going to talk about everything we've been doing in the data center and server business. Today, I'm pleased to launch our next generation, fifth gen Xeon processors. This is the most power efficient, highest performant, and security enabled Xeon we've ever delivered offering a 21% average performance gain over the previous generation. Fifth Gen Xeon is the best data center CPU for AI, period. We have built AI accelerators into every one of the processor's 64 cores, giving users up to 42% higher inference performance versus the prior gen. This means enterprises can easily and cost-effectively use the CPU to run the latest gender of AI models like GPTJ, DALI, and Llama 2. Fifth Gen Xeon can fine tune large language models like the one and a half billion parameter BioGPT model in just minutes. In the cloud, AI powered natural language processing applications will operate up to 23% faster. In the network, 5G user plane functions will flow an average of 50% faster. And at the edge, objects can be classified up to 24% faster. Customers upgrading legacy Xeon servers will experience up to a 77% TCO improvement with AI workloads. Today, Xeon is the industry standard CPU for powering AI across the entire workflow. But for training and deploying large-scale generative AI models, we have our Gaudi 2 Accelerator. We've demonstrated Gaudi 2 delivers leadership price performance compared to the most popular GPUs. Based on the most recent MLPerf training benchmarks, Gaudi 2 delivers between 40 to 50% better price performance than NVIDIA's H100 for training the 175 billion parameter GPT-3 model. And as the lines between cloud and edge blur, we see the increased deployment of smaller, more nimble AI models that span cloud, edge, and client environments, as you heard from Michelle. Hybrid AI is rapidly becoming the most effective approach to deploying AI everywhere. Hybrid AI lets users deploy AI models wherever it makes the most sense, based on latency, cost, or regulatory considerations. With Intel's software tools and foundational hardware, developers can build unified code that targets CPUs, GPUs, and AI accelerators. We're proud of what fifth gen Xeon delivers. It is simply the best CPU for AI, period. Fifth Gen also arrives with significant leaps in performance and efficiency, all within the same platform as the previous generation. And beyond the hardware, Intel is committed to continue delivering high-performance, ready-to-use open software ecosystems and environments. Intel is truly bringing AI everywhere. Now here to share more is Christoph Schell. Welcome, Christoph. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm here to tell you how we are thinking about this from a go-to-market point of view. For the PC, 
for the edge, for the networking, for the cloud, and for the data center. It takes a village to bring AI everywhere. And I'm going to use one of these to double click, and that's the edge. And the reason why I'm choosing the edge is because it is the fastest growing segment for compute. I'm from Stuttgart, Germany. You can hear my accent. Uh, for me, life is all about automotive. Think about EV powered cars, self driving cars, and how these cars become edge devices, how these cars can be connected. So, for my team and I, super important to have vertical expertise. The edge represents 445 billion of global market opportunity. This is huge. We have 90,000 edge deployments today, 90,000. The wealth of experience that we have from these projects informs how we are deploying AI at the edge now. Hey, Pat, you're not supposed to be on stage right now. This is my I'm day. the boss. You're the I boss. Well, then come back on. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> well, I like to just have one other little thing to show off here. And they just brought it out of the lab for I me. I saw that, yeah. The first ever Gaudi 3 in public. So here wow. we go, the next generation. So, Gaudi 3 out of fab, in the lab, being powered on, looking healthy, and uh, not just Core Ultra, not just Gen 5 Xeon, but the next generation of accelerators, we are executing like crazy. Working with our partners, as you saw today, the ISVs, the ecosystem, the excitement that this is bringing, truly making a part of every one of our lives, truly changing humanity. Thank you so much for joining us today.